Good morning, everyone. And thank you for joining Adarna's session, Keeping Children's Literature Alive in the Time of a Pandemic. This is one of the many virtual events of the Philippine Readers and Writers Festival brought to you by National Bookstore with special thanks to Raffles Makati. I am Annie Almario, Adarna's VP for Product Development, and I will be your moderator for this session. I'd like to thank all the readers helping our local publishers and authors recover from the pandemic by continuing to purchase books and attending literary events like this online. Before we begin, we invite you to shop for books online on nationalbookstore.com and the official NBS store on Lazada. You can also shop from NBS branches via chat to shop on Facebook Messenger and text to order through SMS or Viber. Of course, you can also buy Adarna House books on the said channels and get 10% off on local books and up to 20% off on imported books when you shop online from September 25 to October 4. Don't miss this opportunity. Add to cart and check out now. Limited stocks only. Our session entitled Writing Comics in the Time of Pandemic features multi-awarded children's book author and comic book creator Russell Molina. Ipakikilala ko po muna sa inyo ang ilang libro ni Russell sa Anino ang graphic fiction imprint ng Adarna House. Ang una ay ang 1201 na sinulat ni Russell at iginuhit ni Kajo Baldissimo. 1201 is a graphic novel about a group of bandmates who find themselves out in the streets past curfew hours during martial law. It's the third in a series of books published in partnership with the EDSA People Power Commission to raise awareness about the Filipino experience during martial law and EDSA People Power. 66. Written by Russell Molina and illustrated by Ian Santa Maria. 66 is the story of an elderly man named Celestino Cabal or Mang Tino who receives mysterious superpowers on his 66th birthday and uses these to bring criminals to justice. This unique graphic novel is followed by 66 Book 2. This, this one is illustrated by Mikey Marchan and in this book, Mang Tino continues his interesting story and action-packed adventures. And now, on its fifth year of publication, the story is, of 66 is given new life by its English edition, Mr. Tino, which was recently released and being distributed by Epigram Book Singapore. We hope you'll also find the time uh, to look for Russell's books with Anino and his Adarna House uh, children's books. Uh, by the way, we're now live via Facebook and Laz Live. And we also have several watch parties on Facebook, so stay tuned for a very productive and inspiring talk by Russell. If you have questions for our speaker, do comment and we will answer them in our Q&A portion later on. Uh, please also like this video and share it with your friends. And now let's move on to the meat of this session. Russell Molina is a children's book author and comics creator with over 20 books to his name. Some of his notable books include Magic Celia ni Titoy, San Duse ng Kuya, Tuwing Sabado, 1201, 66 Book 1 and Book 2, and the English edition of 66 called uh, Mang Tino. He has won numerous awards for his writing, including the Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature, the PBBY Salanga Prize, the PBBY Alcala Prize, and the National Children's Book Awards. Friends, here's author Russell Molina. Thank you very much, um, Annie, and uh, thank you to Adarna and uh, National Bookstore for inviting me here um, and for um, letting me um, speak and um, inspire you today. So, uh, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Um, I hope you're all well, healthy, and um, safe. And um, today, I want to talk to you about um, my journey as a comics creator and as a children's book author uh, during this time of, of pandemic. And um, I would like to share my screen now. Okay. Okay. Um, at the start of the year, um, I promised myself na this year, I'm going to write more stories. Because the last uh, book that I released, uh, the last children's book I released was um, five years ago or six years ago. So matagal na. And I said, 2020, this is the year I'm going to write more. And I promised myself that. Then, boom, suddenly COVID happened. And I was 
dislodged and uh, derailed from that trajectory no parang all of a sudden because of the worry you know everything suddenly became uncertain you know i i worry about um my health the health of my family the health of my my friends uh the state of of um the company uh, the, the the safety of my office mates so all of these things sort of contributed to suddenly parang it's everything's paralyzing and i don't know if if you felt that same thing you know and it's doubly challenging for me because my job is also in the creative industry so on top of trying to think of ideas for my passion projects like books no i have to concentrate first on on my my job you know? and the promise that i made for myself at the start of the year parang took a back seat no parang i completely forgot about it and we are already what six months seven months into the quarantine no and what i want to share with you are are things that i realize and things that um um i sort of developed um to get me back on track in terms of creativity and in terms of um uh, creating comics and also children's books and if you are a comic and um a children's book creator you will know this that when you start a story everything should start and end with the child no and it and in telling you this story it also starts with a child it starts with my own children no because they were the ones who actually paved the way and also pushed me back to that road to creativity so this is my my son he's a 6 year old uh, boy you know and he start of the quarantine and this before the the remote uh, schooling you no know? he would do a lot of stuff you no know? uh, one picture here you know if you have a plantito and a plantita siya ang plantotoy you no know? he would go out with uh, um a garden you no know? um, he would bake with his mom you no know, because my wife is is a baker and he sort of invented uh, his own pandesal which he which we now call uh, pandikyut kasi maliit no because he needs with small hands no so he could only produce like small pandesals no so pandikyut no? he would create characters he would draw a lot no and all of these things he did because he was bored no he was so 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 bored na ang buong bibig nila and you will hear this a lot from him what's next what's next dad i'm so bored what's next so you will you will hear the, him saying this every time and all of these things he sort of wanted to do and thought thought about because of that boredom and that's the first i guess thought that i want to talk about which is during this time you have to allow yourself to be bored pre pandemic uh, pre covid no parang our measure of productivity you know as as a writer as a creator is if you have if your if your plate is full no parang ang dami mo ginagawa ang dami mo na accomplish no parang hindi ka maganda ugaga sa, sa trabaho mo you run here you run there and try to finish everything no what the pandemic and what my own son taught me is you have to learn how to chill you no know? you have to embrace boredom people call it um um uh, boredom some call it um what they call this uh, mindfulness you no know? trying to be present in the moment you no know? and trying to be connected with the things that are present you no know? and that sort of helped me a lot you no know? because prior to the pandemic my process was i have to go out you no know? i have to drive I have to meet people. I have to listen to people. And that's where I get my ideas, no? And now I'm stuck here at home working from home. Where do I get my ideas now? And because of this mindfulness, no, you sort of realize na parang oh nga, no, ideas are are all around and you can get ideas from anywhere. So being inspired by this, no, I sort of tried to write something. And this is the first 
thing that I came up with, you no, know? and this is inspired by boredom, you no, know? by hearing a, a dripping faucet, you no, know? and the story is called Pataktak. So it's a story that begins with a little boy, na naiinip, and he just says, ah, "Nakakainip, hi, walang magawa sa bahay." Then he suddenly hears the dripping of the faucet, patak, tak, tak, patak. Then all of a sudden, may mga unggoy na dumating na nagtatambol. No? Tambol, tambol. So patak, tak, tak, tambol, tambol, patak, tambol, tambol. Then all of a sudden, the clock from the wall jumps out, tik, tak. So dumagdag na naman, no? patak, tambol, tambol, tik, tak, patak, tambol, tambol, tik, tak. Then may dumating na ibon, tiririt, may dumating na... Uh, palakan, nakasakay sa kotse, pot-pot, may dumating na toko, toko. So lahat siya nagsama-sama, naging patak, tambol, tambol, tik-tak, tiririt, pot-pot, toko. So biglang may higanti na dumating, yabag. So patak, tambol, tambol, tik-tak, tiririt, pot-pot, toko, yabag. May dumating na uh, sorbiterong uh, daga, no? patak, tambol, tambol, tik-tak, tiririt, pot-pot, toko, yabag, ting-ting. So it's Tupadagdag ng padagdag yung, yung sound. Then all of a sudden, the mom calls him, Ibarra! Halika't maghugas ng kamay. And we hear this a lot. No? Maghugas ka ng kamay. Then the mom sort of, sort of opened the faucet. No? So from patak, tak, patak, tak. And all of the characters, they sort of disappeared. No? Nawala yung higante, nawala yung um, ibon, nawala yung palaka. Dina, dina, uh, na, na dumalo yung tubig at they were sort of washed away. Then the mom, patak, tak, tak, suddenly closed the faucet, patak, tak, and there's no more sound. Then the kid went back to the, the corner and just said, ha, kainip, ay, walang magawa sa bahay. Then suddenly, from the outside, it started raining. Patak, tak. And the story sort of continues. So this story is a story about boredom created when I was bored. But it's also a story about imagination and the power of imagination during this time of boredom. And this was created um, because I was mindful, you know, looking at things around me and trying to use those. I wrote this for... Um, uh, storytellers. This is a storyteller story. When you look at it, no, just to um, recognize also our storyteller and teacher friends who, during this um, quarantine uh, time, have shared their their talents no, in entertaining kids. And I do um, appreciate and and um, salute you guys for that. So, if you are a parent now listening, you may want to tell this story later to your child and put in. All your, your different sounds. You know? If you see like something else, you can actually add a train, add patak tambol tambol chuchu. So it, the story can go on and go on as long as it lands in the same page. So boredom is a, a very powerful tool, and it's something that we can harness now during this um, a pandemic um, time. You no, know? and I remember growing up. And my most creative uh, moments happened when I was a child. And I don't know if you remember this. Siguro yung mga magulang ngayon maalala. Pero there was a time in our lives na lagi nagbabrown out by 4 o'clock ng hapon hanggang 9 o'clock ng gabi. And it was constant. And for me, that was my most, um, I guess, creative time because I was bored. And my only plaything was a flashlight and inaano ko sa mga butike. And we would share stories. You know? I would listen to my mom's stories. I would listen to my Lola's stories. And those are the stories that, that I write. And, and I, those are the stories that inspire me to this day. So that's the first thought or the first idea that I wanted to share. The second one is this. Um, ang mga bata, wala silang filter. No? Pag nagagalit sila, galit sila. Pag naiyak sila, iyak sila. No, pag masaya sila, tatawa sila. Tatawa sila ng malakas. Wala silang filter unlike us. No? And as a creator, no, 
um, it's so hard to bottle up your feelings, no? Lalo lalo na ngayong pandemic na halo-halo yung nararamdaman mo, no? Bukod sa takot, may galit, may suya, may lungkot, no? And what um, the craft or what um, art uh, has taught me is you can actually use your art to help you process those feelings that you have. No? This is a work naman of my daughter, uh, Tala. No? Um, she uh, created the characters using band aid to reach out to those who are sick. No? And doing art, doing comics has um, the power of healing. No? Not only for the recipient, but also for the creator. Because when you create something and you put in your emotions, you also process your emotions while you're working on it. And for me, that work would be um, COVID comics. So we created this uh, together with um, a good friend and uh, one of the partners in um, our office, 7AD, and we created COVID comics. COVID comics is a five-page strip uh, that we, um, we post for free on Facebook. And um, it's just a couple of panels, a couple of pages that talk about our, our feelings. No? Uh, and we sort of rechannel that to this comic with the hope of connecting with other people who may feel the same. I want to give you a sample of like that five pager. No? This is a story of, of, of a guy who went out um, during pandemic. No? And you just hear his thought voice. No? Umiti ako sa kanya kahit alam ko namang hindi ako nakikita. Guni-guni ko lang ba kung umiti rin siya? Looking at a girl, ano, nakamask din. No? Gusto ko siyang kausapin pero anong sasabihin ko? Sa mo nabili yung face mask mo? <laughs> Toilet paper din ba hinahanap mo? <sighs> Isang metro ang layo, ilang di pa rin ito. Pero kinakabahan ako na baka marinig niya yung dugdug-dugdug ng puso ko. O yan, umiti na naman siya. Sa akin ba o dahil nakuha niya yung kaya sa isang instant noodles? Yeah, isang metro ang layo. Pero kung hindi ako lalapit ngayon, magsisisi ako. Hello. And the girl says, Hi. Wala nang mabili, no? Oo nga eh. Uh, I'm Robert. Tagadyan lang ako sa kanto. Uh, Diane, sa may looban. Uh, pwede ko makuha number mo para lang may kakwentuhan? Um, sige, akin na phone mo. Then the guy hands the phone. Type, type, type. Ayan. Ako yan. Got it. Then the girl walks away. Ingat ha. Ikaw din. Isang metro ulit. Dalawa, tatlo, apat. Then you cut to the, the girl in her room. But you still hear the thought voice of the guy. Ay, sana matapos na to. Para makita kita ulit. Then the girl texts the guy. Gusto mo mag-meet mag mamaya. Then we end with one panel as she slowly removes her face mask. She's actually a vampire. So it's a social distancing story and it sort of captures our fear then of trying to catch something. You know? But here we sort of elevated it into a sort of a misdirection and a horror story. So COVID Comics is our way of um, sharing with you stories and at the same time entertaining you and connecting you on a more emotional level. Um, the comics talk about uh, death. It talks about loss. It talks about separation. It talks about our, our elders and what they're feeling right now. And we hope to continue this um, series no, um, very, very soon because we sort of um, stopped it for a bit. Um, we are not the only ones who are doing COVID comics. There are a lot of wonderful comic creators who are, are doing comics right now. And all of them are very thematic in terms of, of COVID um, stories. And it's really exciting to read stories now um, created during COVID time and see how we sort of change. No? And what COVID comics, this one has given me is I sort of had um, a better appreciation for, for humanity. You know? um, I think good stories should have good insights. 
and insights are really truths about us, you know, truths about uh, human beings that sort of deepen our understanding about ourselves. You know? And importante, if you are a storyteller, if you're a comic creator, now your eyes are open, your ears are open, especially during this pandemic time. Because that's the time when you can really observe people, how they react and how they interact with people. You see their character. Pag sila'y um, takot, pag sila'y um, nalulungkot, pag sila'y bored and everything. To give you an example, um, during this time, um, I started selling stuff dahil I got no opportunity to clean, no? And I started selling things that uh, I no longer use, like toys and everything. No? And in one encounter, there was a buyer who, who bought something. It's a toy. No? So, and if, you're, um, if you experience all of this online selling stuff, no, you know that it's very transactional. No? Magkano, pwede mo ibaba yung presyo, kailan pwede deliver and everything. No? But at this particular moment, no, this guy, tapos na, nabili niya, no? opened up to me no, via that, that messaging. No? And sabi niya, alam mo, I'm giving this for, to my girlfriend dahil nag-away kami. And he started telling me the story kung bakit siya nag-away, kung bakit siya takot sa mga kuya. I hope he's not listening right now. But pakinakwento niya sa akin, everything, everything. No? So matutal, together with the gift, I had to write an apology letter. No, I had to write an apology note for him together with that package. No? But I guess that encounter sort of taught me na parang pre-COVID, no? you will never imagine someone opening up to a total stranger about the love life. But because maybe he is isolated, he had to vent, no? he had to talk to someone, even if um, total stranger yan. No? And I sort of appreciated that. And I sort of love that. And, and maybe later on, I can use it as a story. You know? I like how comics during COVID time also um, looks at the child and realize that they are agents for change. You know? Hindi siya recipient or hindi siya kailangan protectahan because kids can be empowered. And there are a lot of comics coming out right now. And these are just samples. No? Uh, My Hero is You from um, Africa. Um, Baffled Bunny and Curious Cat by Sunny Liu from Singapore. Uh, no, C. Crow from UK. And we also have our own COVID comics. Um, uh, Robert, Robert Magnusson came out with his own COVID comics. Not, not only educate kids on, on COVID, no? but empower them as well. Trying to say that, you know, kids, sabi nga ni Dr. Seuss, no, people are people no matter how small, they can do something during this time. Be it um, taking, just taking care of themselves, taking care of a, a sibling, or just being harming themselves and knowing what they need to do uh, during this time. Um, of course, they cannot really go out and really play the way they used to, no, but they can do other things as well. And that's, that's very important. COVID has also, um, sorry, comics has also, and comics is really known as um, popular for the superhero genre. You know? And during this time, comics has given a face to the invisible enemy, which is COVID. And you will see um, a lot of in- illustrations that sort of tackle COVID as the enemy. No? Suddenly, for the child, there is a visual reference. No? Sino nga ba yung COVID na yan? So there are comics like this. Um, in the middle, this is um, an interesting comic called Kulangot Comics. Um, you have another comics like this. No? So may mukha na ngayon ang supervillain, which is COVID. No? At the same time, comics has also, and illustrators have also, given a new face to the sup- superhero. And he is, or she is, the frontliner. You know? On the left is a uh, work by uh, Carlo Vergara. On the right is by Ardi Aquino. You know? We Comics brought to the fore, illustrators, artists brought to the fore, um, a new breed 
of superheroes, those who do not need capes, because their superpowers have always been there. You know? These are our doctors, our teachers, our uh, medical practitioners, our delivery guys, our, our grocery people. You know? All of these who help us during those times are our superheroes. So suddenly, comics now portray um, our heroes who are relevant and who are, I guess, more uh, relatable because we know them you know? and they don't need capes. They don't need those wonderful superpowers because they already have it. And very much like what I said, no, I am excited in terms of, of comics and in terms of, of stories. The next idea, um, which is we don't hear this very often now, is play. No, our kids can no longer play like they used to, but they should. And not only our kids, pero tayo rin. No, I think this is the best time for us, no parents, um, teachers. Na dati we were so like looked as uh, looked upon as um, people of, of authority, but now we have this opportunity to once again play with our kids. And I think um, I thank um, um, our friends, no, like um, Robert Alejandro, and our friends from Ang Inc, for the very speedy response that they had when um, COVID started. No? They almost automatically, like really sec second nature to them, no, interacted with the kids. No? They came out with online classes uh, with Robert. Um, Ang, Ang Inc, I remember, came, came out with coloring sheets that you can uh, print out for your kids. No? During this time, they initiated play with our kids. And that's really very, very wonderful. No? And maybe the future of our comics would interact with, with the reader. No? Hindi na siya passive uh, receiver of, of content, no? but they sort of already interact because the, the lines are sort of blurred. You know? And play is actually very interesting because um, when scienti the scientists were looking for a good structure for creative thinking and they saw it in play. And when you look at play, um, this is how the flow goes. You, know? you imagine something, you create it, you play with it, then you share it, then you reflect on it together, then you imagine and the, the, the cycle goes on and on. And when you look at it, this is actually you, you know? playing, playing Lego, uh, playing with your stuff. You, know, you imagine, you create, you play with it, you share with someone, and both of you reflect and imagine. It's the same thing with the creative process and the same thing with writing. You know? The cycle sort of continues. And this is something that you can actually do at home. Um, this I practice with my child. You know? We sort of create um, different characters. So, pati ako nagtututo ako sa kanya because of his imagination. Ito wala nang mas magiging para sa akin, mas imaginative pa para sa akin na kundi yung mga bata. Um, thanks to a friend, um, she gave me um, a set of old school toys. No, These are the uh, mga pog, mga, mga taching. I don't know kung naalala, mga, siguro mga bata pa kayo, but uh, these are mga tau-tauhan. No? And text. No? And while we were playing, you know, um, I sort of connected with my children. But at the same time, I reconnected with my inner child because I started playing all of these childhood toys. And when you look at text, it is actually comics. One text piece or one text card is one panel of a comic. And an idea came to mind. No, parang it's interesting, no? If we can transform and go back and look at our comics as it is now and transform it into this format, so suddenly you can play with your comics again, no? You, after reading it, because when you get text, it's usually in a like this format that you 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 peel, no? You cut. So if you can get that in that format, maybe like a one page of your comic. After reading it, you sort of cut it and you play with it. You know? 
it's an idea that came to mind on how we can make comics more interactive and repurpose it after reading and play it play with it with our children no? so the content may be age appropriate and um, it's wonderful for parents to once again not for for the children but for us to play with with text again the last thought um, that I want to share with you is um, pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, no, parang there are a lot of us who, you know, parang niisip na parang I want to do like uh, I want to write a novel, you know, I want to uh, write a short story, you know, I want to create something big, I want to see, I want to see something epic, you know, create something epic. No? And suddenly, parang yung idea na yon parang naglalaho, no, and this is something that I also learned from my children, which is create something every day that would make you happy. So don't think about the big stuff. No? Think about the small uh, manageable goals, things that you can, you, you can create on a daily basis. But the most important line, I think, is the second one, which is that would make you happy. No? It is important that you create something not because you want it produced or you want it published or you want it appreciated, uh, but because this something would make you happy. It doesn't have to be comics. It doesn't have to be a story. It can be anything. And in my struggle to write comics at this moment, you know, I thought of doing something else that made me happy. So I created a toy. This one, I collaborated with another friend, uh, Blaine Rosales, an award-winning art director. And I called him up and I said, you know, uh, Blaine, would you like to do a collaborate with me and let's make a, like a toy? So he was excited you know, and that sort of helped me also. So we, 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 we got excited with this project. You know. So it's a, the idea is, it's a, uh, the toy is a teenager manananggal. Uh, wala pa siyang name, wala pa siyang backstory. No? The only thing I know is she's a manananggal and she is a part of a band. The, the, band of, uh, the band's name is Split no? because, because of manananggal, it splits. And the toy actually splits. So nahihiwalay siya. And the bottom part can be replaced by like intestines. No? And it's interesting, um, especially for those who are struggling with writing. Uh, because during this time, you can actually look at your process again. If your process before was you think of an idea, you sit down, you write it, you draw it, you illustrate it, then finally produce it. You may want to look at your process again, you no? Know? It doesn't have to be that way during this time because this time is all about taking risks and making wonderful experiments. And this is one such experiment. When you look at comics history, you will um, realize that some of your favorite um, comics, your childhood comics, were um, created as toys first, like He-Man, uh, Masters of the Universe, um, your My Little Pony was a toy first. Uh, even the G.I. Joes, your Transformers. Before they even became uh, comics, the toy was developed first. So that's the kind of process that, that I want to do for, for this one. So I created a, like a toy, uh, which we are um, slowly producing. We're not rushing it. So I don't know what our plans are for this toy, but we're just happy that we are once again, creating something with, with our hands, you know, sculpting and, and producing um, ideas. So eventually, I want to I wanna weave a story um, with this toy and create something, be it a comic or a, or a YA book. You know, but there is no rush. You know? This just makes me happy. So those are the ideas that I have for you today. And I want, those are the things that, that I want to share with you before... Um, I answer some of your questions. No? And um, these may work for you, uh, but these are idea starters. I'm pretty sure you will find your own cadence, you will find your own rhythm, and you will find your own process 
but I hope these things sort of inspire you in your creation. If you are derailed like me before or dislodged from your creative path, I hope that um, I've helped in a way. You know? And um, every day you should ask your, the same question that my son asked, you know? what's next? What's, what's going to be the next project? So that's it. Thank you. And I would love to, to answer your questions now. Thank you, Russell. Wow, sobrang nakaka-excite yung split na split na toy at naiisip ko na kung ano-anong mga libro ang pwedeng ma-produce out of it or or maybe animation that can be that can uh, result from this. Ross, ang ganda nung mga na points na na bring up mo. Uh, if I remember if I I'm remembering this correctly, um, there was one time when I asked you whether you've ever experienced uh, a writer's block and you told me never. Um, kahit ba in the face of a pandemic, um, never ka ding naka-feel na parang there was a creative rut kasi based on your presentation, parang wala, no? Pero meron ka rin bang down moments na, na feeling mo hindi ka nakaka-create? And how did you get out of that? Yeah, um... My concept of writer's block is uh, you're already in the middle of the road you know, and suddenly you don't know where to go. So I haven't experienced that even in pandemic time. You know, my, the challenge is where to get the ideas. You know? How do you start walking that path? That's, that was a struggle. You know? But once I took that path already and started walking um, towards that goal, you know, parang it, was, it was easy. And it's also because... I know myself as a creator. I know my, my process well, and I know how to navigate. The challenge was really how to, um, I guess, get ideas now. Because prior to this, my, my whole process, and I always tell you this also, no? I go to the grocery, mm. I go to information department because all of the... You're just stock. You're just stock. Yeah. Ka lang ng mga tao. I, I, uh, I, I watch people. I love, I love people watching eh. So whenever my wife um, is trying to going buy something, you know, I, I just watch people. And it's interesting in the department store, in the grocery, especially in the information section, because all the drama happens there. You know? May shoplifter, may nawawalang bata, may nag-away na mag -asawa. And there are a lot of insights there. So that was sort of, we don't have that anymore because we cannot people watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, even driving now, nakakatakot, no? Uh, even if you're in a car, no? And pag-uwi mo, ang hassle nung ang daming protocols, may ligo ka, mag ka. So, getting ideas was the struggle and not really more the, the mental block. Mm -hmm. It helps to interact with people. And this is very, very good, actually. Seeing um, people and, and um, discussing and and hearing thoughts from from other people because you, you get ideas from alam mo ras parang naisip ko nga alam ko na saan mo nakuha yung split eh, na idea kasi puro putol yung katawan na nakikita mo sa zoom eh <laughs> di ba oh. split tayo lahat eh pwede oh Wala split lang. tayo lahat oh. Oh. kaya <laughs> ano eh nasa subconscious mo na manananggal na lahat ng kausap mo <laughs> Ganda pero idea. pero oh. um alam mo ang important ng insight mo kasi Pag, pag manunulat ka or pag creative ka, uh, you really get your ideas from experiences, di ba? At ngayon, parang limited lahat ng experiences natin. Or, yeah. or vicarious, parang you read, you just read about it, you see it mm. online, yes. um, you watch it on, on Netflix, di ba? Parang yeah. it's all ano, imagined. Correct. Um, I think also, um, because of social media, no? um, what we're getting are already produced or already recycled mm -hmm. ideas. Kasi it's already out there. So once it's out there, the idea is already created. No? So yung original thinking, yun yung nawawala sa atin. No? Because we are not exposed to all of these wonderful triggers like, like before. Mm -mm. But it's exciting, I think, to think about um, a return to boredom. 
Because when we were kids, it was such an unaccepted situation to be in. Totoo yun. Uh, ang tagal natin sa kotse, wala namang cellphone, walang Correct. walang tablet, di ba? Titingin ka lang sa labas. Correct. Ang da- and dami na da- yun, saka brown out, di ba? So aliwin mo yung sarili mo. At ang maganda um, nung mga panahon na yun din, walang Google. Oo, nung 1950s. Oh, 1950s. Tayo, oh. Oh. Uh, 1932, walang Google. <laughs> no? so, wala, wala pang Google nun. So parang when we wonder... Kasi ngayon napakadali eh, di ba? Parang, why is, this, why is the sky blue? Ah, okay, Google. So, you Google. Dati, why is the sky blue? You sort of create an answer in your head and imagine mm-hmm. it. So, that's why siguro nabuo yung mga alamat because we sort of wanted to explain all of these things through an imaginative way. E ngayon, Ito. napakadali na. Yung, yung gap from the wondering to the answering is so thin. No? Masyado may clip, right. so short, no? Mm-mm. It doesn't give us room for imagination. For imagining. Yes. Right. Um, merong questions from your ano no, yung mga kapitbahay na binayaran mo para mag magtanong sa you today. So si um at Jark Kimi, I hope I'm reading all of all of these handles correctly. How was your journey as a comic book creator here in the Philippines? Siguro he, he or she wants to know how how it's been. Parang was it easy because um, you were um, you were parang crossing over from children's books and advertising. How has it been? Okay. Um, I think uh, malaking bagay yung exposure ko to people who are comic creators. No? Because I am friends with uh, Budget Tan, Mervyn Ignacio, Ian Santa Maria, Kajo Badisimo, all of these guys. No? Uh, uh, So whenever I'm with them, you are sort of influenced, eh? you know, even if you're from um, like a di- different genre, it rubs off on you. Na oh, nga, no? interesting yung yung comics and and it sort of motivated me to oh, why not try it, you no? Know? And the key is to have a a very good partner because I do not illustrate. So um, especially for sixty six, you no, know, I really wrote it at least the book one. Uh, doon sa inception niya, doon sa initial idea, I really had Ian Santa Maria in mind. And I really wanted him to do the first book. And when I was writing it, I already had his visuals in mind. And I know his style and I know he will can pull it off. So to answer your question, no, um, based on, on six, the 66 story, it was a long, long, long process. Mahaba yan because we have we had day jobs, no. And um, in the Philippines, you cannot um, sustain, um, I guess, your life by just doing comics. Dahil hindi naman ganon kalaki ang kita ng ng comics, no. Unlike other markets, no. So we had to sing it, sing it lang yung comics during during a day job. So parang mezo three year in a three year span. We started with Ashcans. Ashcans, kung di sa mga hindi familiar, these are the photocopied versions that we would sell in uh, Comic Con. Um, ah, of I would like to recognize also uh, Comic Con, Comic Kit, uh, Pickoff during this time now because they've they've done a wonderful time, a dr- wonderful uh, no. uh, made the maze, uh, good job, yeah. Yeah. trying to bring comics um, to the public. You know? mm-hmm. So uh, then, um, Anino picked it up, uh, thanks to Anino and thanks thanks to Annie, um, um, Carl, um, the first editor. No? So so there, that's that's the I guess the um, the answer to your question. It's mm-hmm. very um, exciting because there are a lot of new creators uh, coming out with um, very distinct voices, and I really enjoy their work. And um, my my I guess my goal is to contribute to to um, the industry and contribute my own ideas. Mm-hmm. Tanong naman ni at Alona AS, who's your inspiration for Mangtino? Mangtino, okay. Uh, Mangtino is actually a hodgepodge of different different characters. No, uh, some research, some yun nga, people watching. Uh, the name. Uh, is well researched no Celest- the whole name is Celestino Cabal if you're going to research if you're a fan of uh, name origins no 
uh, Kabali is Ilocano, which means uh, body armor. So when you look at the name Celestino Kabal, Celestial Body Armor. So for the name itself, alam mo na kagad na may kakaroon siya ng superpowers. But Mang Tino um, is uh, my, my school, um, grade school, uh, school bus driver. He's an mm-hmm. old man. He's a very, very old man who drives very, very slow. Na mas mabilis pa kung maglalakad ka. Kaya lang hindi ako pinapayagan ng nanay ko noon na maglakad. So I had to ride his jeep and it was really, really, really slow. But he taught us how to drive. <laughs> from the time, uh, siguro no, katapos na ako isang chapter from the time from the school to ano. But he was really, really, really slow. So, Mang Tino, yun talaga pangal niya, Mang Tino. And, and all my friends can um, uh, validate this. So, that's, those are my inspirations for, for Mang Tino. Connected to that question, sino daw, uh, sinong character sa 66 ang paborito mo? Bukong Donut, King, of course. Boke Mang Tino. Donut. It's from at CamDJ04. Si Donut. Donut, yeah. Okay. Uh, may isa pang tanong si at ano, Jar Kimmy. How much research do you do before uh, making comics? Um, a lot, no? Um, especially for the book 1201 uh, because this is like... Um, uh, historical fiction, so I had, I had to do a lot of a lot of research. You no, know? uh, not only history, but um, I guess how people uh, talk. You no, know, during this time, you no, know? I say in language is is very important. Mm-hmm. How, how the study of character. You no, know? I had to ask my my mom. Ano ba nangyayari sa pang panahon na yun? No, iba kasi yung nababasa mo at iba yung actual. No? So, ano, paano, paano kayo mag-party ng mga panahon na yun? No? So, they have the call na parang mga iba-ibang mga idea. So, heavily research in terms of, um, of um, the content. And, but what's wonderful about research is hindi lahat ng research mo lalabas sa libro mo. So, you mm-hmm. need to pick the only relevant things. No? Uh, this naman is more of a research on character. I had to research, validate. Ganyan ba talaga ang 66-year-old guy? Ganyan ba talaga mm-hmm. si Donat? Ganyan ba talaga ang Alzheimer's? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, may tanong si Sham Limzag. Do you have any advice to help us keep ourselves creatively motivated or to avoid burnout? Yeah. Um, I think burnout is because you, you, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. Uh, for you to to deliver or sometimes your pl- your plate is too full na kailangan mo ang dami mo kailangan gawin so gaya nga sinabi ko parang take small steps no we are don't ru- don't run a, a marathon no um just walk first no and when you get your stride you continue doing um journey the journey no it's all about small wins and not the the grand wins no um konti konti para wag ka masyadong ma-burnout. Uh, para hindi other, maubusan. Para hindi ka maubusan. And also do others other things as well. Hindi mm-hmm. dahil sinabi na you're a creative person, no? You only have to do this. Don't box yourself also. Uh ano okay, comics writer ako eh. I only do comics. Hindi, no? Parang you can do uh, other things because Creativity is is fluid, no? no? It takes the shape of whatever vessel you you put it in. No? So mm-hmm. be, be it a toy, be it uh, my wife is a baker. She's a wonderful, may plugging, no? wonderful. Sa sabihin ko sana whether it be pandicute, no, diba? pandicute work of no? work of creativity din yun. Yes, no. Uh, oh. Even gardening is is mm-hmm. is creativity. Even pagbubuno at pagwawales, no? parang you can mm-hmm. you can you can dance, no? Everything. Mm-hmm. So find um um. Um, things that sort of recharge you because that's that's also very, very important. Mm-hmm. Ang question naman sa'yo ni uh, Ray Nazarene Sunga. Hi, Ray. Ray, Ray. Uh, I, is, which is more difficult for you? Creating a big idea for a campaign, an advertising campaign, or creating a children's story? Okay. Uh, both are tough, no? Um... Uh, parang pantay. <laughs> but I guess my answer is, for me, um, kids or children are the toughest critics. No? Tougher than any client. 
Dahil una-una, wala silang filter. No? Mm-hmm. Hindi sila politically correct. When they hate something, they will tell you. Ang pangit niyan. No? And when, when, they, when it's not logical for them, why is that like that? No? I think uh, Ray is from the same industry and um, presenting to clients. No? Um, clients, um, meron pa silang process eh, of trying to explain to you why they don't like an idea. But with kids, pangit? <laughs> parang, bad nga? Hindi naman ganyan, tanog ng toko or whatever. No? Parang wala silang filter na ganyan. It's both uh, interesting and... Uh, challenging at, at the same time no um, that's why uh kinakabahan ako every time I, I i present to to kids as well may may isa pang tanong si Ray sa yo Ras when you uh, create a story for comics do you start with a character or do you start with a plot um i always start with character um i think um because i want to start with the toughest Uh, job first and the getting the characters right is, is always tough and sometimes if you have um, a, already a plot in mind you know where the story will go eh? but when you create the character he will choose to go somewhere else sometimes and you won't feel it yon pumunta dito it is not in his nature so even though you know where he is going i do not plot the right direction yet no but i get the the character right Mm-hmm. and let him go and that sort of pushes me to oh saan ba pupunta to what kind of decisions would he make um ganito siya dapat mag-respond no and he will he will show you the way no mm-hmm. and um at the end of the journey of your character maybe the initial ending that you had in mind is is not the ending na gusto niyang puntahan and i have had a lot of stories like that um to be honest 66 was not this ending It was a totally different one. But because of the characters contributing to the plot, may iba siyang pinuntahan. Talaga? Di na yeah. ng characters sa ibang ending? Oh, and it, it didn't wow. help also that it didn't help also that Ian said, hanggang four chapters lang gagawin ko. Ah. <laughs> so, it, <laughs> so it had Thanks, to be. Ian. Uh, si Ian. Uh, sabi niya sa akin, Ras, hanggang, hanggang ganito yung chapter lang ako after ito. Uh, may gagawin na akong iba. So I had to. Nagpanik ako. So I had to. Okay, ano ba gagawin ng character ko? Ganito, ikulang ako ng isang chapter. Hindi ka naman pwede mo move to uh, another book. So I had to uh, revise and make do. I hope Ian's listening. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Pero may characters ka ba na you started out with for 66 tapos nawala sila along the way? Parang nung gumagawa ka ng character and some at the start, parang you had these characters there and then nawala lang sila eventually. May ganun ba? Actually, baliktad sa 66, no? Parang may mga character na I thought would be, would stay in the background like Suling. But mm. when we when I started writing her character, parang, oh, interesting siya, no? Parang she provided like a comic relief and um, naging voice of of conscience and reason and for Mang Tino na para maging grounded siya. No, so parang initially parang ano lang eh naisip ko lang dadalhin lang siya ng cake or nasa background lang siya and everything. But now naging pivotal yung yung role niya because siya yung naging parang konsyensya and parang lagi nang aasar kay Mang Tino na parang even though you're a superhero dito ka lang. Parang ganoon. Oo. Ras ano, ah, dahil naubusan na tayo ng oras. Sayang. Sayang. Oo. Ah uh, um meron ka bang parang Uh, teaser para sa sa fans mo sa comics at sa at sa children's books ng mga susunod mong proyekto. Alam ko nagpatikim ka na kanina nung uh, ng split. Um, pero meron meron pa ba na in the works? Well, because of uh, what I started with patak tak tak. Uh, parang from there I sort of um, already developed a couple of stories. Um, I think I have six already. You no, know, parang di ko lang kung ano, ano pag ko if you're going to hand it to a publisher or ano. But um, That sort of started everything. Um, I'm just finished Barlaya, thanks to um, um, Adarna and Anino also. Uh, that sort of help, helped me also to um, be disciplined in terms of my work. So I finished that. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm doing a lot of comics ideas. But that's small wins. Uh, pa isa-isa muna tayo ngayon. 
and um, I'm just being a fan right now because there are a lot of content out there that are very, very interesting. And I hope you follow the pages of all these wonderful people. They're on Instagram. They're on uh, Facebook. Also follow my page on on um, Instagram. Baka magkaroon ako mga announcements doon. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have Facebook, eh. uh, but I do have um, Instagram. So Russell Molina. But um, I can talk about the um, the toy if finally we painted it and mm-hmm. everything. Um, upcoming stories. Um, the people you've been stalking. The people I've been stalking. So uh-huh. so yon. So if you want the story, patak tak tak. I want to give it to you for free. If you're a parent, if you're a if you're a teacher, if you're an illustrator, you want to do uh, illustrations against it, it's yours. Um, it's my gift for you during this pandemic and I hope you you entertain your your kids. Um, May video ka ba of you telling patak-tak-tak or any of your stories? Yun yung this na is, imagine ko would the, be great. This is the first time I'm actually telling that story. Um, I haven't, I shared it with a couple of people, uh, people I trust, like um, si Ogi uh, Rivera, mm-hmm. And one of my uh, friend, illustrator friend also, no, but uh, isa pa yun, no? I just want to share with you, uh, if you're a creator, try to collaborate with people and try to ask people, the people who you trust, you know, for their opinion in terms of, of your creation. You no, know? uh, It helps na you collaborate. And, and during this time, I noticed that people are, are open to, to partnering and, and collaborating mm-hmm. with, with other people. And people are eager to help. Yes, yes, oh, they are. That's, that's Actually, also ako, one sa, of them. Actually, I'm going to say that it's a little But during the, this, this pandemic um, time, no, I actually talk to celebrities. No? That's what I'm talking about. But I write to, like, for example, um, this illustrator that I'm a big fan of. I, I wrote him. No, wala mo not going to the The worst thing that's going to happen, which is what mm-hmm. happened to me. You know? But there, there's, there's um, no risk. You you emailed celebrities for you contacted celebrities for to collaborate. Yeah, and also to uh, thank them for their for their work. And yes. I tell them that Aww. I tell them that it helps no for creators, uh, especially during this time, to be validated and no, to hear mm-hmm. praise mm-hmm. no, and it helps them to 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 keep them going. No? So to keep them creative. And there's I think there's no other time to do that because they're they're. Um, online mm-hmm. and there they can go outside no so chances are they will they will see your your messages mm-hmm. Uh-oh. thank you ross thank, thank you, you. Ross, for thank all, you Annie. for all the advice and the inspiration you've given us this morning and on behalf of national bookstore in adarna house we want to thank all of you watching today for joining us we also want to remind you to shop for adarna house's latest books on nationalbookstore.com and at the official nbs store on lazada you can get 10% off on local books and up to 20% off on imported books when you shop online from September 25 till October 4. Don't miss this opportunity. Add to cart and check out now because there are only limited sl- uh, limited stocks. <laughs> there are more virtual events coming up for the 2020 Philippine Readers and Writers Festival. Check out the complete lineup by visiting um, readersandwritersfestival.com or follow National Bookstore on Facebook at NBS Alert and Instagram at National Bookstore. Make sure to also follow Adarna's social media pages at, at Adarna House on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa pakikinig. Thank you very much.